Hey, what's up guys? Gonna do another knife review as promised and this knife is the one I carry in my wallet. And to give you a clue of what it is, I have this off to the side where I used to carry my wallet. The Victorinox Swiss card. And I got some denim here which I'm doing a cut test with a little later. But, um, wow. I'm stupid. I just realized that uh, obviously I'm Gonna put the title of what it is in the title of the video, so <laughs> there's really no surprises, are there? All right, so let's just get into it. Uh, this is where I carry it. It's a Tool Logic um, companion credit card uh, knife slash multi-tool, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the companion is the model and it has the lens and the compass. But I keep it in my wallet. I've gone through a couple different wallets. I've had the Maxpedition Spartan, which I really liked, but it was a little large for me. Uh, I got this wallet. It's a no-name wallet. It's a trifold. It's got a Velcro, but the Velcro is pretty worn out. But anyway, it's got this outside zipper pouch. Now, I get a lot of requests, you know, what kind of wallet is it? I really have no idea. It was my grandfather's. It wasn't part of his wallet collection when he passed away. I, You know, it was something he gave to me, and then I gave back because I didn't use it then. And after he passed away, going through the stuff, uh, I found it, and I thought, eh, I'll start carrying it. And I have to say, it's by far the most carried wallet in the last probably four years or so. But anyway, so I got this zippered pouch in the front. So what do I keep in that pouch? I keep my... <laughs> that has nothing to do with it. Although I have to say I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> it's not what you think it is, by the way. Although I might have one of those in my wallet. Nope, this is a moist towelette um, that I got at a Chinese restaurant. Some, somewhere along the line. Anyway, it's good in case you have a sticky mess you gotta clean up. Here it is. The Toologic Credit Card Companion. And again, there's a lot of uh, variations on this. There's all different tools and, and combinations of tools. This one specifically is the one with the magnifying lens and the compass. So, let's get this crap out of the way since we don't need this anymore. And we can start this review. All right, so this is a credit card sized multi-tool. You can see it's fairly thin, comparing it to the Victorinox, yeah, the Victorinox uh, Swiss card. It's identical as far as thickness goes. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of different variations on this, different tools, different colors. Some are clear, some are white, um, some are like a transparent blue. I think there's a red one. And like I said, different tool combination. Um, but this one specifically has the main uh, tool in here is the knife. Okay, we also have this multi-tool over here, which is a flathead screwdriver uh, slash can opener slash bottle opener here. And then we also have on the back here two more tools, a uh, plastic toothpick, and plastic tweezers. Okay. Um, besides that, obviously, like I said, we have a magnifying lens. And we have a compass. On the back, you'll also know a very, or note, a very small, I don't know if you can see this, but a very small ruler for um, centimeters. It goes up to five and a half centimeters. Let me get a little closer so you can see that better. So there you go. So, what do I think about this thing? That's the whole point of a review, right? I mean, I could show you the stuff, but the, the whole point behind reviews is to give an opinion. It's not just facts, it's what do I think of it? How has it worked for me? How has it hasn't? How has it? How has it hasn't? <laughs> That's not right. Uh, I guess I'm just going to keep it in. Okay. How it possibly hasn't worked for you. There we go. I'm tongue tied today. Tongue tied today. Say that 50 times fast. So anyway, let me just go over some of the different tools here. Uh, tweezers, first off, it's a little bit of a disappointment because the picture uh, for this tool on their website shows the tweezers being metal. And they are, in fact, this plastic. By the way, this is an ABS plastic. Uh, it's pretty durable, but it's not indestructible. It's not like uh, G10 or my card or anything. It, it will break if you put enough pressure you know, on it. But anyway, yeah, at first, just a little bit of a disappointment. Not a huge deal, but the tweezers are pretty decent. They come to a, a fairly decent edge here, although I have not needed to use them. So I can't really speak to how they work, except for the fact that they haven't broken yet. Um, what I can tell you, if I put these back the right way, that's not right, though. I had it right the first time. 
yeah, so tweezers never used. Don't really know much about them. I can tell you I've used the toothpick before. Um, not for my teeth. Occasionally I, I'll carry like a, uh, if I go out to dinner or something, I'll grab one of those wooden toothpicks they have at the register. I don't use a toothpick like this, but I have used this to actually uh, clean something out. Uh, which it worked okay. I actually thought because it's plastic it would dull pretty easily, but there's a very fine point on that. And you know what? Let's use this magnifying glass here. And take a look at this. Alright, so you see there's a nice fine point on that. Oh, I like the magnifying glass. Well, it actually wasn't planned, but it, it seems to work pretty good to look at something close. I like it. Very nice. Alright. So hey, we know that works. I personally didn't use this while I was carrying it at all. My purpose for this, my main purpose, is having a backup blade in my wallet, as well as this little multi-tool, or, you know, two-tool two function. Wow, I can't talk today at all. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, but, uh, anyway. Alright, so toothpick was, was fine for one uh, uh, cleaning job. And it was not the teeth, it was just a random cleaning. And it worked fine for that. It didn't bend, is my whole point. It's pretty durable. Um, the knife got used the most. Besides the knife being used, I also used this tool here. I uh, did not open any cans or any bottles with this. However, I did use this point here, being even more rigid than the toothpick, um, to actually pick a bunch of different things. I uh, cleaned my nails like two or three times with this, just uh, sitting around waiting for something. Um, not the best tool for that, but it was impromptu. It wasn't you know, something that's meant for cleaning nails. But it worked fine, and I also used this a couple times to um, to actually pop something open. I have this uh, this can. Uh, it's like a it's like a smaller can. Sometimes I put uh, different screws in it. And it it's kind of like a paint can, but imagine a small version of it. Originally there was gumballs or something in it, but it, sometimes it gets stuck, and I happen to grab this to uh, to try it out, and it worked fine for that task. I suppose I could have used the flat end, but it was just easier to get in the lip with the pointer pointier part. But anyway, not super, super important, but it does work. As far as a screwdriver, didn't try this. I can tell you that uh, as a screwdriver, um, it's it shouldn't be that bad because uh, you have a good amount of leverage here. Okay, it's not just if it was on the tip here, doing a screwdriver like that, you don't have as much leverage or as much um, you know power to actually crank down on a screw tightly. I actually like it in this position off the side here so you have more leverage. That's the word I was looking for much more leverage to actually crank down a screw. So I actually like the design of that quite a bit, although I have not personally used it. The only thing I can truly speak of uh, as far as use is the blade. Now, right off the bat I'll tell you that they use a, a super soft steel on this. I'm not super happy with it. Um, I did get two chips in the blade, which actually I'll use the, com the, uh, the compass. I'll show the, I'll use the, holy crap. I really can't believe I'm not getting through this video. I need someone to stand in and talk for me while I move my hands. I will be using the magnifying glass to show you that right this second. So, as you guys can probably see there, you can clearly see those two chips in the blade. Those chips are from plastic, those plastic straps. Now, although the plastic is thick and hard to cut, it really should not chip out a blade like this, so I'm not super happy with the performance of this steel. So, as you can see there, I mean just a couple of chips. Not a huge deal, they can be sharpened out, but for, for my use, I don't think it was performing to at least my standards. Uh, as far as knife design goes, I think it's nice, you get a decent little grip on it when you're using it. Um, as far as being fully serrated, again, I mean that's why I have the denim here, because serrations are uh, a better choice if you're going to be cutting fibrous materials, so I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, it did it did stay decently sharp, but like I said, it's just super soft where that plastic had done that. Uh, it's something that's rare. It doesn't happen super often. Uh, I have had my blades chip out from the, those plastic straps before, but usually it was on the AUS-8 side, um, a little bit softer. At one time, uh, I had a chip out with a VG-10 blade. Um, and I don't know if that was just the edge geometry or whatever, because I did actually change uh, the edge on that specific knife. But, overall, um, just not, like I said, not super happy with it. It is a, a chisel ground edge, so it's only sharpened on the one side here. Just a quick little tip, and I'll, get, I'll tell you in a second, because it's almost 10 minutes and I want the camera shut off. Alright, I'm back. Stupid 10 minute mark. A uh, little tip with these serrations. 
if you have a very fine stone and you have a serrated edge and most serrated edges if not all uh, are a chisel ground uh, edge so it's only sharpened on one side the other side's flat not super recommended but um, because it will wear down your serrations a lot faster but if you have a super fine stone you can actually do just a two or three passes very lightly on the reverse side of the serrations and that will bring them up to be a little bit sharper all right you don't want a heavy stone because if you start grinding on this side forget it you're just going to lose your your shape but uh, if you don't have a tool or any kind of tapered stone to get in all those little grooves or any kind of specialty sharpener um, you can sharpen the back of it okay just like i said super fine stone i would go 2000 grits or higher in this case um, and then just like I said a couple passes very square to the uh, the teeth here on the uh, serrations just like that just maybe two or three passes across very lightly and that should bring up the edge just a little bit but uh, anyway you know it is what it is it's not a super expensive uh, system here or tool uh, $25.75 is the full retail on this uh, on average I found these for $15 they have the exact same one on Amazon for like $14.97 so it's uh, it's very affordable. I would definitely uh, suggest if you're going to get this to use this as a backup blade, and that's exactly what I do with it. I mean, I purposely used it for testing so I can eventually do a review for you guys. But uh, I would keep this knife brand new and brand spanking sharp. Brand spanking sharp. That's not right. Brand spanking new maybe, and nice and sharp. But I don't know what happened to me. I guess all this hot sauce is making my tongue tongue melt. But I don't feel like redoing the video, so bloopers or not, <laughs> is what it is today. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I would keep the knife new in here and only use it as a backup if, say, you lost your main blade or you just really needed it. Um, I wouldn't. In other words, I wouldn't use it as an EDC knife. I would not constantly use this blade because I think it will wear out pretty fast. But uh, anyway. That's pretty much it. There is a lanyard uh, hole in here, a little triangle hole. If you wanted to throw some cord through here and keep it in your pocket or something, that's fine. I happen to keep it in the wallet because of the thin uh, size here. Um, the compass. It stinks. It's really just not a good compass. Um, I did test it compared to another compass I had, and it was working properly at the time. And then I tried again yesterday, and it was totally off. And It's just one of those compasses that it might be okay for a backup, but I just would not rely on it just put it that way i mean it's good it can't hurt to have a bunch of different compasses on you at all times but i just wouldn't use this as my main source of information that's all obviously we just tested out the magnifying glass which i think is superb i really like it but what i really want to do in this video is compare this one to the victorinox one that i've carried before okay i recently swapped over i'm going to tell you the pros and cons of both and my opinions on it but first for anyone's interested size this is 3.37 inches long by 2.12 inches wide. Okay, as far as thickness, it's about a quarter of an inch. So, uh, slightly less than a quarter of an inch. So it's really, it's actually pretty thin. What's better? What's worse? Um, they both have their pros and cons. I carried the Swiss card for a long time. The biggest thing I liked about the Swiss card, the two main things really, besides the blade, which I actually used quite a bit, was the scissors were awesome to have on me at all times and believe it or not the pen the pen came in handy all the time i can tell you when i started when i swapped over and i started carrying the toologic card uh there was at least at least a half dozen to more uh situations where i needed a pen i needed to jot down a note somewhere you know it's with someone in public or whatever and i reached for my wallet because i thought i had my swiss card i thought oh i got a pen and every single time I unzippered my little pouch in the front, I pulled out. I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot. I, I have my tool logic on me. So the pen for me was actually a really big uh, a bonus, a, a tool I used all the time in the Swiss card. So it does lack the pen in this specific model anyway. Uh, that's a downside. Uh, the upside is the rigidity. Super, super strong. I've been literally sitting. I mean, it's in my, my wallet, in my back pocket, and my whole body is sitting on it, you know, every day. You know, throughout the day, I'm sitting on this thing for months and months now, and uh, it hasn't broken, which I love. It's just, it's a, it's a decent, strong plastic. Like I said, it's ABS plastic. It's definitely held up better than the Swiss card. You can see the first thing happened, there was a, a little uh, latch here that kind of swiveled out and, you know, got out of the way for you. So this portion was covered, basically. 
I think I showed this in my review of this originally. But you just you'd swivel this out so you, you can access your scissors. That busted off. Uh, it broke right here, so right away, just from sitting on it and having it in the wallet, it broke off. Um, the whole case here had loosened up over time. You can see here it's loose. It just literally cracked. Um, I lost my uh, tweezers in here. So as far as durability, I'm going to have to give it to Toologic for this one. Um, I carried both of these around the same uh, time period. Like I said, roughly six or seven months each. And this one broke on me, and this one did not. So this is a huge bonus for me. However, even though it's stronger, I do prefer the tools in this. I like the style of blade, and of course, Victorinox's blade steel much, much better than what I got in the Toologic card. Plus, the bonus of the scissors was nice. The pen was a huge deal for me. I did end up using it a lot. Um, metal parts, like the metal uh, tweezers here. And of course, this one happens to have a, a nail file as well. And a you know, mini screwdriver. Overall, if I have to pick, I would go with the Victorinox one. Even if it does crack on me and break, I'll just get a new one for $15, $20 tops, brand new. You can find them on eBay used for a little cheaper than that. But I would much rather, they're roughly the same price, I would much rather get this one. And then if it does break like this one did, just swap it out with a new one. Nothing against Toologic, I just prefer the setup better on, on this one here. But, uh, you know, it's all preference. Some people will prefer the knife style much better. By the way, these do these tools do retain in here quite a bit. Uh, I mean, it takes a little bit of pressure to pull out. They did not fall out ever, which is very good. You can see the little circle here. kind of snaps in. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, I do like the fact that they do retain in there very well. A little bit better than the Victorinox. The knife is, it's not going to fall out, but it's not locked in there as tightly. But... Anyway, it is, it's a very hard decision, it's a toss-up, but I still would go with Victorinox. I just like the, the, overall, the overall setup better and the quality of tools in it for about the same price. By the way, weight on this is 1.4 ounces. So, real quick before I go, and my battery's flashing, so I'm going to try to do this quickly. I just want to give you a little cut demo with this uh, serrated blade here. Just got a piece of denim, thick denim from an old pair of jeans. Puncture's fine, rips pretty good. So, as an emergency type knife, maybe EMT work or something, you can easily cut through, uh, you know, some fibrous materials. And again, that's where the uh, serrated blades are going to excel compared to the plain edge blades. There we go. Let's do one more just for good measure here. So you can see it, it cuts pretty decently. And of course this one is used, so it's not brand new and sharp, or as sharp as it was when I got it new. So, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I enjoyed carrying this knife, but now that I, do I have done the review, I'm going, I actually have a different one that I don't have in front of me right now, but I'm going to swap back over to the Victorinox Swiss card. Just my preferred uh, credit card size multi-tool. So, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.